show some love for my pastor. Give some love for Pastor Jay. Yeah. Listen, I've had the opportunity, I've had the opportunity to witness a lot of great performance. I've been a part of a lot of theaters and I've been in a lot of theaters and I've witnessed great performers all over the country. And, and, and one of the greatest performance I've ever witnessed, it comes from the epic icon, uh, the king of pop, Michael Jackson. And I was able to witness how the king of pop was able to stand on the stage and perform in such a way that blew the fans' mind. In fact, one episode, one, one show that he was performing, the crowd was messed up. He had performed so well on the stage that when he left the stage, the crowd began to shout. And they began to applaud. Encore. They began to shout encore because they wanted the king of pop to come back on the stage and do what he had done all over again. It was such a, a, an amazing and incredible, incredible performance that the people who was in the audience, they began to shout encore, encore. They wanted him to come back and do it all over again. Now, now y'all, because because of what happened a couple of months ago, the king of pop, although we want him to come back on the stage to perform one more time, because of his death, he will never ever come back on the stage to perform again. In fact, there have been a whole lot of kings that have taken the stage. They have come and they have gone. We've had the king of comedy, Bernie Mac, he's come and gone. We've had the king of rock, he's come and gone. We've had the king of soul, he's come and gone. And we've even had the king of pop, he's come and gone. But for those who are part of the kingdom of God, there is a king. He died one Friday, but bright early Sunday morning, he got back on the stage of life. And I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. The King of Kings, he is still alive. And he is ready to come in the stage of your life and do it all over again. And so if tonight you need the King of Kings to come on your stage, I dare you to shout, encore. If you need Christ to show up in your life, to shout encore go on and high five three folk and tell them I need an encore Lord I need you to do what you've done in the past I need you to do it right now I need favor in my family I need you to open up my red seat I need my prodigal son to snap out of it I need my mama to be healed is there anybody in the house need an encore if you need an encore, I tell you to shout, shout, Lord, I need you. And can you just do me one favor? Go on and grab your name and say, neighbor, I'm going to keep on shouting until I see the curtains open up. I'm going to keep on shouting until God pop up on my stage. I'm going to keep on shouting until God bust a move in my finances, in my marriage. If you need God to show up, somebody shout encore. And in the words of James Fortune, Lord, we are trusting you that you going to do it all over again. Somebody give God praise. Give him praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout like the blessing is on the way. Hold up. Hold up. I'm getting ready to give it to James. But y'all see this smoke? Do you see this smoke? The Bible say in the year that King Uzziah died, I 
saw the Lord and the scripture says the smoke filled the temple can I tell you what smoke represents it represents the presence of God can I tell you what smoke does it rises. see you can't worship God if you ain't lifted up a praise everybody up in here ought to be lifted up a praise can I tell you what smoke does it also choke in you whatever in you ain't supposed to be in you because when you get in God's presence you ought to become better can I give you one more when you've been in smoke everybody know it <laughs>